The Operation Red Lava, it's an intelligence-led operation. We're acting on information in respect of the Glen Mill Caravan site here in Merthyr. Uh, it's a traveller site, but we have intelligence about wholesale production of cannabis. For today, it was in two parts. The first part was the secure and preserve the evidence in relation to the cannabis production. Uh, that involved an entry team of 100 plus officers multi-agency approach and from the National Crime Agency. It was about then arranging a systematic search of the site and that's what's going on now. Uh, identifying who is here, uh, who has responsibility for the plots uh, and certainly understanding how the site is managed. The second phase then following on from that uh, was obviously then the community engagement plan which was going to run parallel with the investigation. So we have a community engagement team again involving partners, local authority, the Bridges Charity Organisation and the Gypsy Council of Wales to start formulating those ties with the residents now whilst the investigation commences and for the subsequent few days. We secured 24 plots on the Glen Miller Caravan site. Uh, of the 24 plots, 12 have proven positive for cannabis cultivation. That's resulting at the moment of 12 arrests. Obviously the investigation is ongoing as we speak. We anticipate approximately 20 arrests. We've recovered approximately 200 plants at this stage. In terms of commercial cannabis growth, it sells at £5,000 a kilo. This site has potential to produce multi-multi kilos of cannabis. The biggest message out of this for me to all the residents, one of Glenmill and two of the wider community is one, is we do take seriously the information that's provided. Two, that we are proactive in our approach, but we don't just look at it uh, to get that detection, for, to use the police term, where we get a positive result. We use it to build uh, community engagement and community ties to show people that ultimately South Wales is a safe place to live.